Hello everyone, back again with another Android emulation news. We have some interesting news this past week, but before that, I will be having shoutouts on my next video, so just follow through my instruction. Alright, so within 24 hours, those who will comment down Zitron will receive a shoutout on my next video. So yeah, what are you waiting for? Also don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, back in the news, Biosensor MK2 driver was released just recently. So this is the continuation for the Biosensor MK1 which I talked about a week ago. So this update provides added support for GPUs that had issues launching games with the previous drivers. Also it is noted that devices with flagship SoC should see a 10-20% to 20 performance improvement. As far as I know, this GPU driver was dedicated for Citron Emulator and it's good to see collaborations from the developers to get the best possible performance. Anyways, if you wanted to check this out, link will be provided in the description below. We also have another GPU driver from Mr. Purple. So T19 Toasted was released just recently with driver version 25.1.0, Vulkan version of 1.4.305. This highlights fixes for Adreno 6 series GPUs. So if you're one with the gang, you may want to check this out. Anyways, if you're interested, I will link down the official Telegram link for this GPU driver. Moving on but still with Switch emulation. Ishan developed a cool new feature for Strato. So this feature is GPU driver importing option which you can import or install GPU drivers from Kimchi's github site over the internet so you do not need to download and save it locally to your device. However, it's still unsure if this feature will be added to the official Strato emulator whenever it releases or will it ever releases. Nah, just joking. I am confident that this emulator will be released sometime in the future. Not anytime soon but at least will be released in the future. So are you still hoping on Strato? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Still looking for some cool new feature? Multiplayer on Citron might be achievable soon. Zephyron, the developer of Citron, is currently working on the multiplayer feature of the emulator. This will be a game changer for Android devices or for Android users in general since you can now play multiplayer Switch games. Not just locally, but also online. Well, I'm pretty sure this can't do multiplayer with Switch consoles since Yuzu PC only do multiplayer stuff with Yuzu to Yuzu only. But hey, at least you can now play multiplayer games with your friends. However, don't get too excited. There is no release date yet for this update. But don't worry, just stick to the channel and I will let you know whenever it releases. Moving on, but now with GBA emulation. Link Boy, a true successor to My Boy, is now available on Play Store. So this new app features high optimizations, high game compatibility, full speed link cable emulation between devices, accurate gyroscope, light sensor, and rumble emulation, and modern UI design. This app is completely free but you can pay extra for some premium features. So the premium upgrade allows you to save state to multiple slots, link over, Wi-Fi direct with friends nearby, load save with on-screen button. I'm wondering what are your thoughts regarding these premium features? Will you pay for it or will you just stay as a free user? Alright moving on. Play. PS2 emulator got a new update. Play version 0.68 is now available with implemented missing instruction, fix some rendering in visual novel games, fix regression in GIT, fix hanging when skipping intro video and beautiful Joe, added missing HD function. What I like with this emulator is that it doesn't need any BIOS file to run games. The performance is not comparable to either SX2 or another SX2. It's still improving in a way. So there you have it, some of the latest news and updates on Android emulation. Anyways, if you like this video and you find it informative, kindly hit that like button and turn on the notification bell for more contents like this. Also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. 
thank you for watching and see you in the next one